push day, tatters, tatas, mommy milkers, yatters, teats, titters. What else you got? There's got to be more. Yeah. Yeah, bazoombas, I think they said in like that 90s or something. Bazoomba, bazookas. Yeah, bazookas. Boobs. Boobies. What do they say on Twitch? Boba. Or booba? Booba. Boobas. Yeah, booba, booba. Booba, booba in the chat. Last week, I had kind of a half ass push day. Uh, one good one. I normally hit two a week, but we were just scheduled out. So the other day, I switched to a full upper body, so I only got a little bit in. Um, Legion's like pump product is like a non-stim pre. They actually have like a full pump product that we're gonna try soon, but this is basically like a, a endurance pump product. Gonna chug this boy down, um, start on bench, raw workout, man. Welcome to the video, Salamai Third Street Barbell, 3sb.co. Hoodies, the best price, the biggest sale you'll ever catch right now. Check them out, hats available. Um, full push day, bench emphasis, titty emphasis, shoulders tries. Let's get it. You need a haircut, man. <laughs> what the hell's going on in the back? Bro, your haircuts are expensive now. I'll do it. Okay, take me up. All right. Chop them. Go out tomorrow. Mike's gonna get Anything's better than that. Cap. Bro, you literally look like a mop head. You know, not everybody blessed to spend money on haircuts. I mean, I, I, then put your hat back on. <laughs> well, I need a haircut too. I'm getting one tomorrow. So I got a hat on. Like my beard's fucked, like everything's fucked, but I don't just walk around looking fucked. It's about conscious effort to make not only yourself feel better, because then that energy will portray to the rest of the world. This feels good. No, no, I know it don't. <laughs> I know you don't look in the mirror and be like, yep, today. I just don't look in the mirror. Well, that's an issue if you're avoiding a mirror because. I just don't own a mirror. So. Yeah, that was probably your parents' plan. <laughs> Build your self-confidence. <laughs> I feel good in this hair, Mike. Just let it happen. You're lying to yourself. Anyone who says they like, when you call them out on some shit, they're like, yeah, no, I like it like that. No, you're just like settling. You're settling. Damn. M yeah, murder, I, murder, murder. Kill, kill, kill. I'm gonna cry. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, wow. So fast. Oh. So fast. You want a wheel? Wheel. I'm just gonna do whatever you're deadlifting. Uh, I don't even know if I can. My shoulders hurt. Old guy? No, it's not. <laughs> Purple drink. Purple lean. kush. Oh, he got the lean. He got that lean. He got that lean. <laughs> Young wheezy baby. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Some kids are trying to get that one. I'm on wheezy, baby. They don't even know about wheezy. These kids. I got deadlift. Yeah, kind of, but that's already after he like retired because of drugs. He literally retired because drugs literally retired him. <coughs> no matter how many MCs I do, oh, it's never enough. Bench, uh, kind of like my squat and dead. I don't like it, but I got like a weird, not like it. I don't know what the term is, not imposter syndrome, but like I, I hate, part of the things that make me work is that I don't want to get worse. So like I don't necessarily want to be the biggest bencher in the world, never have been, never cared, but I hate getting worse. So knowing that I just have to keep my strength around like a 315 bench, that's literally the only reason I bench. Because, you know, if, if you're focused on pure hypertrophy, you can do whatever you want. Any any exercise that feels good. But for me, an inclined bench feels really good. I just don't have, like, big enough dumbbells to push hard. I mean, I can, but I don't want to do two sets of 20 to get near failure. That makes no sense. So we bench first, a little bit of pre-fatigue, plus keep that, that strength around 315. Then I'll probably just go incline hammer, and then we'll move on from there. A couple shoulder variations. I'm kind of taking out any kind of shoulder press. There's just too much pressing, so I can do a little more emphasis on the Titas. Like top three draft picks, we go back and forth. Yeah, of what? What you want to go at? Uh, dick names, or names for the penis. Oh, 
What's your first round draft pick? Schlong. That's first round draft pick? 100%. Schlong's pretty good. You got a good one for first round? Johnson. Johnson's pretty good. Johnson ain't number. Okay, you take me? Uh, no, I think for my first round draft pick, you got to go cock. cock yeah. I was going to go there, but yeah. Schlong, cock, equal. Yeah, cock. Schlong, I think, is tough because it automatically refers to something large, I feel like. Like, you can't have a small schlong. True. I'm going with number two, package. Package? Package. That's the whole thing. Now we're invo involved in the testes. Your package? All right. Uh, <coughs> the family jewels. Family jewels, number two then. I got to do it. Glizzy. I don't think that's a name for a penis. I'm going glizzy at three. That's a name for a hot dog. No, 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 but it got turned into. It was a meme. I'm going glizzy at three. I think that's the worst draft pick of all time. Bro, schlong, package. You just you just drafted a bust. Glizzy. You just drafted a bust. That dude's not even playing one pro game. What are you picking? I, I might think about like my, my European homies that are watching. Go ahead. Pinor. <laughs> I won, bro. You ain't even in this one. Glizzy? Glizzy's so whack. Pinor? Pinor? No. Pinor? I'm sorry. The accent over the O. Pinor? No. It's pretty good. Ah, I won the Glizzy contest. The Glizzy name contest I won. Watch out, man. I got to bench your max. This? My max? I've seen you miss it, which would be above your max. Damn. I miss it one time, bro. All right. That's more than I have. On incline. You missed it when you were 12. <coughs> I benched this when I was 12. I think I benched 225 in eighth grade, dog. Benched 225 the other day, too. Two weeks ago. You mean in eighth grade? Well, you know. I guess to give you credit, I also outweighed you in eighth grade. <laughs> fat ass. Fat ass kid. Yeah, fat, fat ass kid. Fat ass kid. Right now, <laughs> solid 170. You're lying. <laughs> Eighth grade, I was probably like 160. Get beat, bitch. What? I said, get beat, I'm 170. I gotta find a picture. <laughs> I probably have more muscles than Matt, too. They gotta check my Instagram bio, it literally says 67.5. Damn. Damn. Yo, it's like damn. screenshots. Hey, 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 Ah, hell no, that's gotta be disrespectful. I mean, I benched like 185 with 225. You I got more muscle meat than that. That is not you, bro. Who is it? That's him. Ugly. Ugly. What is that? Don't show that homies, bro. What if they don't want to be on the internet? I'm not, I'm zoomed in. Oh, that's fine. Damn, I know your homie don't want to be in the, especially with that hat. They have real look. jobs. Especially with that look he got going on. They got real jobs. Ugly. Yeah, that's why I'll fuck hey, your bitch, you fat motherfucker. <laughs> oh, fuck. I ain't got no girl, and I sure as hell ain't fat. Bro, I'm about to cover the top ropes on your bench right now and just... Break your elbow. <coughs> the hell? That's karma, bitch. We going, we going rapper draft pick. Okay. Cole at one. Kanye Cole. West. You went West. Okay, that's valid. I mean, how can you, how can you shrug? Pop. He's probably the best all time. Come on, Pog at two. Kanye's probably the number one best. He, he's stepping into like MJ territory, man. I want Pog at two. Pog? Two Pog. <clears throat> I don't know, man. There's so many. I mean, what are we basing it off of? Just give me a top three, bro. Okay, my top three? Lay it down, yeah. Because my top three is different than what I think is the, like, most impactful of all time. You go Drake. That's valid. I'm going Ken, Kendrick. I'll go Lil Wayne, you lose. You I don't lose. know, I think this one pretty close. Well, Mom, you lose. <laughs> if we did, like, a battle and you had to go song by song okay. of the artist, I'd whoop your ass. Just start thinking. Kendrick's amazing. I'm a huge Kendrick fan. I'm a huge Cole fan. But 
when you get everyone bopping their head to the three artists I said, and the amount of songs that are absolute bangers. I should have picked up Wayne, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I should have got rid of Pot Guy Wayne. J. Cole's one of my favorite artists all time. In my top, he's probably in my top three <coughs> or five. But, like, Drake's probably not in my top three. Old Drake is. But to the world. Marvin's Room Drake is. But to the world, when you're just trying to get people to bop, it's hard I don't to like Kanye. the way you're moving your body when you said, you're trying to get people to, to bop. Yeah, I was stretching my hip. <laughs> I rode 50 miles. Just don't say it when you say bop. You're the one wearing slippers. Bro, I'm literally deadlifting. What you want me to wear? I mean, you Air Max 957s? <clears throat> Damn, that looking, that looking I just hard. That, you, like, I just that, that looking hard. What are you talking about? It is hard. You go. See how easy it is. Show me how easy this is. I would, but the way my left shoulder set up. Yeah, you see, my program and my coach said RP threes, and I can't do it because you carry the one and move two decibel points, and I missed a 315 conventional deadlift because I don't know how to use straps, although. I didn't miss it. I picked it up. I didn't miss. You a hater, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is a better entrance than half the UFC right there. That was a better walk on than half the UFC. I wish they bring UFC back. Hey, who are you taking, Mike or me? That's like, no, I you're dead. You. <laughs> I'll kill you. Sit down. He still said no. Smoking blunts was a daily routine since 15. I got me. I got me for real. You bet 10 bands on yourself. 100%. I'll bet $10,000 to fight you, MMA rules. All right. Meet me in my weight class. No, no, you didn't say all that. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're done. I, old school just I'm haymakers. I'm buying your car. Old school's just haymakers. I think you might kill him. You should just have his car. I would kill him. <laughs> I think I could kill you. It's the new thumbnail. Who are you taking? Just. I think I'd kill you. I'd kill you. <laughs> That's what I was worried about over here. <laughs> I'd kill you. Kids would do anything for a view nowadays. I don't know if I'd kill him, but like. No, you literally wouldn't. I'm going pretty deep. I literally might put you in fucking. Bro, you ain't landing that big ass haymaker of yours. Bro, I'll just jab you to death. You ain't gonna jab me to I'll death. I'll bust that haircut right off your forehead. <laughs> Bro, I'm, sh I'm showing up bald. Yeah, you should. No. He's a bust ass cow. Yeah. You ain't jabbing me to death. Be bro. looking like Pac Man. <laughs> I'm taking out. I want, I want, I I'm taking out them shins, boy. <laughs> nah. Bro, you ain't. I'm checking one leg kick and your legs flopping around. <laughs> Cap. Turn it into a wet noodle. Cap. Little That's wet noodle. That's not how that works. It does with them little legs. These ain't even little. Try to go hit a, a fucking redwood tree down with a toothpick. That's what you're trying to do. <laughs> you Are you the redwood? Yeah, bitch. You ain't that big. Put your little leg next to that. Cover the calves, though. Cover the calves. That's what you're kicking me with. Sir. Sir. And you got the angle and you lose. Better than you thought. No. Yeah. Got him. <laughs> Isn't it crazy I'm belt. trying to work out and this is what I got to do Give me the belt. With? Isn't it crazy? No other gym owner, athlete, extraordinary would deal with this. But I put my time in it. It's almost like charity work. Oh, uh, here he goes. He act like he not lonely. He not lonely. And I keep him company. He lonely. He, he need, need me. Let's sleep. Oh, he lonely. Come and again. He, he need me for real. You hating, but you need me. <coughs> Got enough for today. Impress the masses, man. What do you say? Go right ahead, dude. <laughs> what a hater. What's up? Like a bitch. I didn't know this was happening. <coughs> oh. I knew it was coming one day. And they do have a brand new pump surge. What a bunch of uh, arginine, citrus L fruit, grape. 
no cows, basically like two carb. So I'll probably take that. Um, tomorrow, I think we're vlogging. So be sure to check out the vlog channel. Um, it won't be as detailed as this workout, but I will be doing creatine. I will be doing um, like a back and biceps workout on that channel. So be sure to check that out. Mike Farr, link in the, the bio. I got some basics, so I don't die. Magnesium, vitamin D. Everyone should take vitamin D, I don't really care. And then just the vitamin B complex. It ain't complicated, man. Just make it complex, y'all. What's wrong with the internet, man? I say, um, yo, what's up, y'all? I love waffles. Oh, so you don't like French toast? I never. You bro. don't like pancake? That's you, bro. I just said, bro, I like waffles. I could I also mean, enjoy French toast, and I can also enjoy pancake. I'm the problem. That is the problem. I'm not gonna leave my feet with you, bro. I wanna stay back. Keep you back. Oh, oh. Don't, don't do this. I had a question for you. Not this. Don't do this. Not again. What? You better, not again. What were we talking about before they walked in? I don't know. Shit, man. Haircut. Haircut, yeah. You're talking about your lack of knowledge on hip hop. No. Saying Jay Z doesn't have talking enough hits. Talking about my hits. goddamn haircut. Saying Jay Z doesn't have enough hits. That's what every Zoomer take is ever. Because y'all haven't listened to anything past Family Watch Zoomer. the Throne. Which is literally top to bottom bangers, by the way. <clears throat> no, 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 no. Someone on the internet asked like a, first thing I did, said I did like two sets of eight. I said like RPE nine, I wrote out a workout on Instagram. They're like, why such little volume? I'm like, bruh. First off, I've been training 15 years like progressive overloads a thing, but you can't, what do you, you want me to do 10 sets of 10 on every exercise? Like high volume training in powerlifting almost holds more weight because part of powerlifting is practicing the lift and volume is practicing that lift. So like in terms of building strength in a particular movement, there's almost no such thing as like junk volume. Like, yeah, if you're a 500 pound squatter, squatting 135 is not gonna do a ton, but you're still like greasing a groove. Like, it's probably not heavy enough to really grease it. You probably need to get to three, 400 range, but it's still something to improve upon. You're still building that coordination. In terms of hypertrophy or like machines, junk volumes everywhere. In every video I see and every lifter I see everywhere, you're just wasting time if you're not pushing yourself. So for me, training upper body, each muscle group minimum twice a week, sometimes three times a week, I would rather weigh, crank up the intensity and get like two or three good, good reps per set. Two sets here, I already did it on bench and I'll do it on flies. That's like six really good sets just on my pecs. Hello? But I'm putting on Jay-Z for you dude, since you don't know music, we'll teach you. I literally didn't even talk to you this whole time. What am I doing catching a stray? That's a stray bullet. You was on to talk about progressive overload. And then you're gonna flip it on me? He projected. We've talked about it in a couple other videos, but <coughs> shit's kind of like so complicated and cinematic and so like trendy. And I know that's a little bit of human nature, but to me, that loses like the authenticity. So if there's a trend, whether it be TikTok, YouTube, whatever, and everyone's Sure, you can grab inspo from people, but if everyone's trying to do the exact same thing, you're losing who you are. And not to get on like my high horse, but like the only thing that makes you different is you. So now you're trying to be like every other person that's get a million views because they did X. Now everyone's doing X. It's just kind of a waste to me. So I'd rather create content that is simply me. And the best way to do that is to raw vlog in the gym. For the vlogs in the gym on this channel, It'll probably be us chilling. I mean, if we get to travel in the new year a little bit, we can pick the brains and hang out, and train with some cool people. I can ask some questions about life, what they do in training. But besides that, man, I'm trying to get shredded. I was 197 average this week. Leaner 197 than I was in the past too. It feels pretty good. Uh, cardio's up. Obviously the holidays are coming, so I shall indulge and maybe get a little puffy, but Cardio is gonna stay high, which is cool. Um, yeah, it'll be like, and, I, and I'll, I'll, I'll keep it around the holidays. The issue with everyone is, um, 
You'll say like, oh, Christmas is Monday, and then you're having cookies every single day. Well, say like, oh, Christmas is Monday, and then have cookies and a good meal on Christmas. But then the next day, get back to your game. So um, oftentimes before I even land in Vegas, or I land in SAC, depending on where I'm going, I'll literally order my food and have it there. Because the best way to avoid temptation is preparation. Tattoo that on your fucking forehead. So I'll order my beef, and I'll eat beef and veggies every other day besides, obviously, Christmas, and I think mom's throwing down some Italian food. Yeah, so, well, you know, I'm gonna, I, yeah, I'm not gonna throw, I'm not gonna say no to some stuffed shells and lasagna, you know? But I'll, I'll do cardio if the gym's open. I'll work out if the gym's open. What is he doing? It's a weird kid. Weird ass kid, man. I don't, kinda. He's kinda like that puppy that's just cute enough that lands on your front steps. You're like, well, I'm not gonna let it die out there. <laughs> yeah, you gotta let him in the house. But I didn't, I definitely didn't like go finding him. <laughs> you know, it's not like, oh, I want a dog, I'm gonna go get a dog. Don't touch my rope. No, you can work in, but you can't move the pin. What are you, are you doing pull down? Yeah. Swear to God. Over the head. That's a warm up. Wait, what do you mean over the head? Yeah, nah, still didn't change none. Still ain't. It might be. Nah, bro. I just gave that effort. No, 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 no. Alright, fine. Oh, it's never possible. Go back. Well, you just cut that thing in half? No. You only weigh 30 pounds less than me, you're not half my body weight. 30? Bitch! Try like 60. Would you just mumble? I said try 60. I mean, if I'm cheating all like that, probably 60s. Go ahead, cheat 60s, Mike. Go cheat 60s. Why well, is he mad now? He, seems, he wanted to be in the YouTube done. video. No, 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 he no, wanted no. to talk all this no, shit. No, 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 no. Because I know you ain't cheating 60s. Oh, you think I'm doing them strict? No, no. <laughs> Pretty good. Go ahead. Let's see you cheat some 60. That's why I'm putting it on the wall right there. What? I'm leaning on that thing to be stable, to make it harder. Let me see you go cheat right, some 60. Bro, I just did a go cheat some 60. Yeah, I will. Go cheat some 60. I will. It's like grabbing fucking two ogies. It's coconut heads. <laughs> two, two coconut heads? I don't feel pain. That's cat. Earlier you said, ah, my shoulder. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Soft. Let's see it. Let's see it. Shut up, Siri. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> I admit when I'm wrong. I admit when I'm wrong, player. like seven. That's like eight. I admit when I'm wrong. He got me good. I didn't even like really cheat them either. You do some like football cheats, probably fucking do 80s. I'd probably do your stepchild. That was pretty good. I'm strong, dog. Ladies and gentlemen, like I said, vlog channel is in full effect. Check that out, link in bio, 3sb.co for all your clothing needs. Be sure to subscribe to this channel, more raw workouts, maybe with this idiot. If not, it's just me traveling, getting better, training. You see what a real environment looks like. I may not be an elite athlete no more, but we get after it, we get the work done, we're still having fun. Appreciate you, man. 3SB.co, Third Street Barbell, Sacramento, California. Catch you in the next one.
him. Yeah. I'll get it. I'll, I do. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I, 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 thought I, I thought I was catching his stomach right there. His little butthole just. That was a brace. I caught that one. Just because he caught me. Nah. Couldn't he threw a brick wall. <laughs>